hard, isn't it? It's this is not this stuff we talk about. This is not easy, is it? Todd, you do this stuff all day long, right? You know, these moves, listening and reacting to these moves intellectually and not emotionally, but making them emotional. This is tough stuff. This is million dollar skill set, isn't it? This, this is why the sales is why I focus so much on it because you could have the best product, the best deal. You could have a, all spend all this money and all these leads and everything. But if you can't reach, if you can't touch somebody emotionally in that one-on-one -on -one phone call, what you, you're not going to go to the bank today. Are you? Yeah. Emotions. That's it's the, it's that's so the about emotions. Oh my God. Anybody ever have an emo a sale where you turned it around emotionally and the prospect instantly went, went, you went away from the intellectual selling, the features, the benefits, the square footage, mm -hmm. and you started going emotional on them. And they said, oh, you're right. Let's, sure. Let's do, let's do this. Boom. Yes. Did you ever get that instant? Yes. 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 And, you know, and honestly, you know, probably about a month and a half ago, it was a, it was a close, but it, it was so connected to a loss due to COVID, but it was still ethical and solving a need that they they knew that needed to be addressed you know versus going to, through probate or anything like that you know so but yeah it has to touch on that emotions when you plan those heartstrings you know it's definitely something that people immediately make a decision on thank yeah. you. you you get them emotional you get to yes anybody have an emotional story or situation they can share Well, the prospect changed over just because you said the right thing at the right time. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I gave an example. Uh, <clears throat> you know, honestly, the person, <laughs> this particular client, you know, was looking for a, uh, a policy for his daughter. His daughter just turned one and uh, he, he wanted a, you know, a 10,000 annual premium and, you know, a 20 pay. This particular uh, structure, he looked at it and just, knew that okay well for the next 20 years his first response was so you're telling me i can't buy shoes and i looked at him i looked at his wife like is he serious but it was the fact that he's so used to splurging the excess money on shoes clothes and traveling and i looked at him i was like are you telling me right now for your daughter that you're not able to sacrifice not going out to eat once a month maybe not buying those new jordans and you know, you're not able to just sacrifice today to secure your daughter's future. And the wife shed a tear and he looked at her and looked at the baby and immediately said, you know what? I don't know what I was thinking about. And, and, and signed on the dotted line. Wow. <clears throat> That's powerful. That's powerful. I once had a prospect and I finally got to the truth. You know, a lot of guts is a question based system. We ask a lot of questions because we need to know how to sell them. And I finally pierced, this guy had a drawbridge up with the moat really high and the alligators streaming. I couldn't get to the truth. Finally, he said, you know, I grew up on a farm where I could run and, and everything like that. And um, here I am in this apartment and my kids are playing on concrete. And I said, you know, I turned around, I said, imagine for a moment I could get you and your family into a house with a, I got one property, sir, with a nice lawn and your kids are running barefoot and the sprinkler system is going and it's a hot July day and the kids are just having fun in the backyard and your wife has a nice garden. Maybe you're growing some vegetables and things. Suppose I could get you within your budget in a property like that with a nice backyard. How would you feel about that? It's okay to say no. Yes, boom, instant. Yeah, if you can do that, boom. That's all he, that was all he needed to get them over. So, so a lot of times, yes, it's the money, but sometimes it's just that emotional catalyst. And then we get a little bit into Guts 2.0. Um, Felipe, you're going to love this part. It's where we talk about where uh, Guts 2.0, talk about that for a minute. When we talk about the barbecue and the smell and the, and the fresh cut grass and the fireplace. 